Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to this year's 13 Nights of Fright. But we're not doing 13 consecutive nights like we normally do. We're just doing a couple videos here and there. Today we're going to be talking about 31 of my favorite horror movies. Now if you guys are new, I don't like scary movies. Okay, you're probably like, Stephanie, then why are you doing this video? Well, dear viewer, I don't like like possessions and like demonic things okay i love horror comedy like comedy comedy is like my fairy deal animation slashers and gore like i can see people getting gutted up all day long but i cannot with a demonic deal or a demonic child or a creepy little kid like no okay so instead of like doing 31 to 1 we're not gonna do that we're gonna do something fun we're gonna do we're gonna, I'm gonna share these with you in tier form. So we got a new tier list coming up, you guys, okay? So we have the classics, okay? That's pretty self-explanatory, right? We have must-watch. These, of course, the my must-watch during spooky season. Like, I have to watch you at least one time so I can feel complete. Otherwise, who am I if I do not watch you this Halloween season? Then we have my type of horror, which again would be more like slashers. Zombies love, love zombies, okay? Then we have new favorites. So again, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. And then finally, at the very end, we have bad. They're bad movies. I know that they're bad, but guess what? I don't care. I, I don't care. I will continue to watch them because there's something about them that bring some sort of joy in me. So because there are 31 uh, movies on here, we're obviously just gonna like tear them up on top, okay? We're not gonna chit chat about them. I'm just gonna be like, I love them. I love them. Just know I love all these movies, okay? And if I talk about all of the 31 movies, we're gonna be here for an hour and nobody's gonna watch an hour long video of me. Also, some of these, most of these have more than one part and I only put like the first movie here because I wasn't going to put all of them. And we're going to like smush them together as one. Is that cheating? Well, you can call it cheating. I'm not calling it cheating. I'm calling it being resourceful so I can have more movies. <laughs> the Thing. We had John Carpenter's The Thing. Obviously, it's a classic. Twitches and Twitches too. These are must-watches for me. The Craft. Now that's a classic. I feel like it's a classic. I'm gonna put it under a classic. I love that movie. Now if you did not do Light as a Feather Thick as a Board when you were kids with your friends or your family, did you even really enjoy this movie? Because we definitely tried that so many times. Let me know down below. Did you th try Light as a Feather Thick as a Board? Light as a Feather Thick as a Board? We, we tried it. We definitely did. Then we have Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. Where you get those people? When I tell ya, I feel like I would be so safe because I don't have anything that works. Okay, my eyeballs, I'm super blind. My nose is just there for decorative reasons. My taste buds, because my nose is decorative, I don't really have taste buds. My lungs, I have trouble breathing, y'all. Mm -hmm, I don't have asthma. Maybe I have some sort of asthma. But I don't got, I, no. The only thing that I might want to take is my stomach because I can eat. Um, so this one, would that be considered a classic? I'm gonna put it as my type of horror. It might be considered a classic. Is it considered a classic? I don't even know. I, the part two, part two is fine. Do is there more? Yeah, there's more. I haven't seen the new one that came out. I don't even know a couple years ago. I heard it was terrible. But part one and part two, we're gonna, I guess we could put them together. I prefer part one, okay? The Addams Family, The Addams Family Values. Love me the Addams Family. Those are must watches. I know they're classics, but those are must watches. Like. As far as the classic, that doesn't mean that I have to watch it. Like I said, because the other ones are must watch. Like I need to watch them in my life during spooky season. The other ones are just like, do I want something a little bit more? Then we have Scary Movie. This is, I told y'all, Scary Movie. I'm going to be hearing about it. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, well, I don't know. Not last video. Because I don't even know how long ago that video came out. I'm filming it back from when I did my September wrap up. But this video is going to come out way later. Mmm. They're not must-watches. I'm going to put it under classic. I'm going to consider that a classic at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. I know that I just said Jeepers Creepers can be a classic. Whatever. This is my list. This is my list and this is how I choose to put it. Because maybe I didn't think about all the tiers correctly and I don't know what else to put on there. So this is mine. And that is where it's going to go. 
because it's not a must watch and it's not my type of horror because it's like a uh well it is i guess my type of horror because it's a horror comedy okay i'm gonna move it under my type of horror because it's a horror comedy and i can do that hard because i know i can do all types of horror because i don't really consider it I, I don't for sure i don't think that one would be a classic no okay Buffy the Vampire Slayer. i love it okay um damn it that kind of falls with like scary movie i'm telling you i didn't really think all these two where what should i put i'm gonna put horror comedy how about that yes we're gonna add a tier okay horror comedy that's just what we're gonna call it horror comedy i wish i i was good with like play on words Sadly, I am not, and I wish I knew I had it like that. Scary movie there, and then we're gonna put ba Buffy the Vampire Slayer there. I freaking love that movie, it's so good. Like, one of my favorite, like, just the overall scene, like, if, if somebody would tell me, like, what are some of your favorite scenes? Like, this is the one with the vampire. I don't forget people, yeah, no, I'm terrible, terrible with people's names, but they're at the end, when I'm there at the moment, he gets stabbed, and he's like, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, and then he's like, kick it, and they, like, we get, like, an end credit, and then he's like, ooh, and he's I love that scene I love him there I think it's so funny then we have damn it Janet I was magenta for Halloween one year so this one oh my goodness uh that's obviously it's a classic I don't even know why it took me so long it's like my eyes my eyes bypass classic yet it's always going to that one first scream whole scream fan franchise we're gonna do all of them I love the scream franchise it's so good i mean we're gonna like it, pretend some of them don't exist it's fine it's fine even the newer ones that just came out this year last year they're great okay so um do i must watch these during halloween i don't think i must watch them but are they um i'm gonna put my type of horror but i feel like a scream it's a classic at this point right Yes, it is. But we're going to put my type of horror because they're slashers and stuff. And we're going to put all of them in there. Because, you know, like, again, some of them just came out this year, last year. So those technically aren't classics. And we're putting them all together. Again, we're just going to start with the first one because you got to start with the first one, okay? Then we have Shaun of the Dead zombie movies. And then it's a comedy, horror comedy, right there. Then we have the one of why I put bad, but I don't care. QB Halloween. Yeah, I can say what y'all want. I don't care. When I tell y'all I have already watched this movie and we're like eight days in into October. This is a bad but I don't care. It brings some sort of joy but honestly I feel like I may have one more watch under my belt before I'm just like mm, and that will join you on not liking this movie. I don't know I like there's something about it that it's just I know it's bad. I know it's bad. And then we have Goosebumps. We're only gonna do the first one because I don't really recall liking the second one too much it's spooky enough i mean i was creeped out from the books when i used to watch it when i was younger i'm gonna say it's a new favorite then we have happy death day happy day day two this is my type of horror it's like horror comedy time travel i loved it i love both of them they're both really really good beetlejuice and it's a must watch uh just it's also a classic i would consider it a classic but it's definitely a must watch then we have um, the final girls and i did do a review on this last year this was part of my 13 nights of fright last year this is a new favorite i mean it's like it came out like in 2015 or something like that but it's new to me so it's gonna still be here and it's just about you know being the final girl in a scary movie and also it reminds me of my game fi uh the final girl it's just a great like solo game but again we're not talking about the movies in general and i do have a review so again I'll, I'll link that down below if you'd like to hear my overall thoughts freaky not necessarily a must watch because i can watch that like just all year long i'm gonna put it under new favorite hocus pocus loves it it's just the first one on this one i know everything else is like everything but this is one hocus pocus original i don't like the part two i do have a real part two i'll link that one down below uh this is a must watch oops this is a must watch okay classic must watch okay um the sixth sense i see dead people okay this is i'm gonna i'm gonna put this under classic death becomes her this is a horror comedy 
Honestly, I forget about this movie sometimes, so that's why it's not under must watch. I think I do watch it every year, but I sometimes forget about it. Like, I, I, I remember it out of nowhere, but mostly it's not one of those that stays, and I don't, I don't understand why, because I love this movie so much. But definitely hard call me. Then we have Monster House, or The Monster House. We got our first, like, animated movie. This is just, uh, like, I don't even know. Where would I put it? New favorite? Okay, I don't have a thing for that one. Is it ever a video if my battery doesn't run out? In the change in the battery, we added a new tier. Spooky, fun, aka family friendly. And that's where The Monster House is gonna go. It's perfect for the whole family. It gives you those spooky vibes and it's still a lot of fun. Okay, then we have Ready or Not. Again, it's just my type of horror. I love it. If you see a trend, there's a lot of slashing and murdering and guts and stuff like that. Then we have Midsommar. Ah! I don't really know if it's considered horror or not, but it's fun though, y'all. Okay, like it stays with you. It's cray. It's like, I don't know, it's like a lot. It's I loved it. I know a lot of, it's like hit or miss with a lot of people. It's a new favorite. I do love it. And then we have A Haunted House is another one. We're just doing the part, part one. Because part two, I'm just like, uh, no. I mean, I love it. I don't love it. I like it. No, that's too much. I tolerate it. That's good. Love this one. And then this one, actually, there's parts that kind of get me like, it, uh, <laughs> Like, I know when it's coming and I like look away because I know it's coming. Uh, this is a, um, horror comedy, obviously. Then we have Halloween Town. We're putting them all together, including Return to Halloween Town. I know a lot of people don't like that one because they changed Mar Marnie. I, I mean, yes, we miss her. But I was fine with the recast as uh, Sarah Paxton, is that who it is? This is a must watch for me every year. I, I love all of them. I really do. I think my least favorite might be when a uh, Halloween Town High. We have Willie's Wonderland and this I also have a review on. And this is just a new favorite. Um, I've only seen it maybe twice and I, I loved it. I, it has this spooky vibe so it definitely could also go into like my type of horror but again it's just like a newer movie that just came out bodies 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 it's another h24 movie right yes only seen it once i loved it i i that it's this is one that i could see myself kind of like like going up into like must watch kind of deal another one that's just a new favorite actually mids of mids i'm gonna put it under my type of my type of horror because i feel like that is a little bit more like horror-ish Versus just like new favorite. I mean, it's a new favorite, but I feel like it should go more over there. Then we have Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo 2, okay? And these are just spooky fun. We're going to call them just because it's our fat, nice, family-friendly movies. I love, I love them. They're so fun. Definitely get those little spooky vibes for your little kids who maybe you're trying to get into like the horror deal. This will be just enough for them, I feel like. It's a lot of good. Then we have the Nightmare Before Christmas. <clears throat> for starters, it's like my all-time favorite movie. I mean, obviously, boom, like if you, whoa, mm, right here, okay. It, it, all year round, you will see them here, okay. It is a classic, okay, but definitely also a must-watch. We're gonna put it over here in the very beginning because it is a must-watch. Also a must-watch for Christmas. The newest one on the list, Totally Killer. This movie literally just came out over the weekend. Over the weekend from when I filmed this, because again, it's gonna be like later on. A slasher deal. My type of it's it's a my type of horror horror comedy, but nonetheless, it is a new release that again just came out a couple days ago, so it's gonna be under a new favorite. And I definitely see myself rewatching this one. We're time traveling. Uh, we're slashing people, serial killer, Back to the Futurist deal. We're hot type hot tub time machine in it. Boo! Medea's Halloween. Wait, is that what it's called? Medea's Halloween? Something like that? Boo. I don't know. Boo. Medea. Woo. I love it. Only the first one. I didn't really like the second one. I mean, it has like some like parts of it that I don't love, but I love it. Okay. I do love it. Um, I think this is also a must watch. I do tend to watch it every Halloween. And in the last movie, on this list 31 please tell me this is 31 movies okay yeah okay this is 31 i got scared so last 
on this list is what we do in the shadows. I have a review on this because this also was part of my 13 Nights of Fright, I think the year before last. Still haven't seen the show and I've heard so many good things about it. I just haven't got around to it. Hopefully next year when I'm taking my long break that I'm not quitting YouTube, it's just stepping back because I just, I just miss just watching television right just miss just watching movies without like having to think about a review i don't even know where to put it it could go into so many deals i'm gonna put it under horror comedy horror comedy loves it but these are the 31 movies give or take whatever you don't come at me for that okay we're gonna just say 31 even though there's more than 31 okay because you know the sequel and everything like that but these are the movies that i love watching during the spooky time of year of course most of these are like everybody has watched them right where you need or you have at least heard of them i know some of these are like new and stuff so you might not have heard of a lot of them but anything that i do have a review on I will link down below if you want to hear more of my thoughts. I don't have reviews on all of these, but I do have reviews on some. I really hope you are enjoying this year's series that is slightly different than normal, but it's still, I'm still having a lot of fun with it. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Share down below some of your favorite spooky time of year movies. I really hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.